Hey guys, and welcome back to the Alps Play Java Minecraft server. We're on episode 6, and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things I've been doing between episodes, and also getting a bit more work done on this place, because we've got a couple of buildings here, and they're kind of disjointed, they're not joined together. So, you know, I want to try and get some more buildings in, and possibly start on connecting them up a little bit. But first off, we're going to take a little trip into the nether, as there's a super secret project that I've been working on that I want to show you guys. And then we're going to head over to Spawn for a little bit as well, as we've actually set up a new shop, which is linked to this super secret project. So just over here, you can see it's not very far away from my base at all. And I think as soon as we spawn in, you're probably going to be able to see what it is. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not uh, working as intended right now. If it was, you would see some bouncy little green slimes hopping all over the place and getting themselves killed. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the rates on this are not great. They're not fantastic. But it does produce enough slime for us to be able to sell it in the shopping district. Um, right now we've got seven slime balls. <laughs> we've got a chest here full of slime blocks. Can we see at least one slime? Come on, just one slime, please. Anyone? Hello? Yeah, um, it might be because of who else is online right now. I don't know if they're taking up the mob cap currently, but uh, for some reason, <laughs> we're not getting any spawns. Uh, I have been letting this run for a couple of nights, though, and we do have probably about nine stacks on sale over in the shopping district so it's not bad it's a good start i do want to expand it later on and get some more levels in the one thing that's stopping me at the moment though is the fact that i don't have enough iron to make all the iron golems so hopefully someone's going to make a proper iron farm on the server soon and uh, we can take advantage of that but until then i think it's producing enough uh, you know we can get a few sales out of it Okay, so here we are over at the shopping district, and you can see we've got some new buildings that have popped up. Now these are owned by the guys in the Mythic Exiles, or the Mythical Exiles. They're owned by Emmy, and you can see we've got Merchant's Raw, Murder Balls, and it looks like a couple of the other houses are claimed by some of the other members of this supposed secret society. Let's have a look. We've got all balls, two stacks of iron, three stacks of gold, or four stacks of coal. Now that's right, um, Pen Pen, who I think owns this shop, is doing the Emerald Challenge. So she's not going to be taking diamonds from us. So uh, makes sense straight for other materials. So we've got Infinity, Punch, Power, Flame, and Unbreaking. David Bowie, Splinter, Death Lord, Zephyr, Firestorm, and Heartstring. Interesting. I'm going to take a wild guess and say someone has been AFK fishing. All rods, one stack iron, two stacks gold, three stacks coal. You know, they're, they're kind of expensive. Although, I do kind of want one. <laughs> I'm just not going to lie, I do want one. Um, three stacks of coal for that and four stacks. Seven stacks of coal if I wanted a bow and a fishing rod. That's that's quite expensive. Um, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, so I was over here when Pen Pen was building these, and I might have left a review saying 0 out of 10, no stock. <laughs> Obviously, that's been fixed now, but I should take the sign down as well. No, no. But uh, while we're over here, you might have noticed that something else has popped up next to the That's What Sheep Said store and this is optimus slime <laughs> yeah we're going all in on the puns today all in and oh nice we've got one uh one stack of blocks sold i'm gonna leave the diamonds there for now but uh yeah this is the optimus slime i think he's looking really cute he's adorable isn't he so one other thing you might have noticed around here is the sheep are now all gone that's right, we've finally gotten them moved into an auto shearing farm. 
which I've put underground just so it's out of the way because it's it's too big for one build really. And you can hear it going here. So I've got all our sheep, we've got three of each colour in. And the way this works is quite clever. It's an ill mango well, it was showcased on an ill mango video. I'm not sure if he's the one who originally did it, but you can see there this one dispenser is shearing all three sheep. And the way we do that is by having trapdoors down each of the sides. And that forces a hitbox of the sheep to overlap into this middle block here, so all three can be sheared at once. And we've just got it hooked up with a simple popper clock there. I mean, I could have probably, um, you know, linked more than two up to one hopper clock, but you know what? It works. It does a really good job. We've got plenty of stock over it, and that's what sheep's head. So I'm very happy with it. I mean, it's not the prettiest of things, and I'm probably never going to make it pretty just because it's one of these things. It's supposed to be hidden. It's not supposed to be, you know, getting a lot of traffic. And let's just fill that hole in while I'm at it. I <laughs> completely fill that also need to get this chest moved. Definitely need to get that moved. But yeah, let's head up here. So, as I was saying, what I want to do today is get a um, get another building in, or at least a start up one. I don't think I'm going to get this finished today. But I'm going to be working over here where the sheep were, and that's why I've spent a lot of time off camera just getting them all moved. And yeah, what, what I want to do is probably want to level this area off get rid of that hole and we're going to be building a town hall so i'm just in the middle of getting this filled in and you can probably hear all the clicking from the sheep farm below us yeah um probably should have built it a little bit further down it's a little less noticeable over here but what i might do is put a couple more items in the hopper because i think one item is just a little bit overkill like there is no need for us to be shear or attempting to shear the sheep that many times. And I mean that's another reason why I'm out of iron as well. <laughs> so many pairs of shears. Go figure what there was 16 sheep. And I've got at least nine shears in each one. So yeah, lots and lots of shears. Alright, so this is now the next day. It's actually Christmas Eve so, as I'm recording this, and you can see we've got a little bit done. So we've got the footprint marked out and oh we've got another cat, we've got a ginger one. We did get a couple of cats the other day, so we've got this lovely grey and white one and we've got this guy who's over here sat on the window ledge who's guarding the farmhouse, obviously protecting it from all of the nasty creepers. But yeah, we got a fair bit done. However, I wanted today to try and at least get as much done as possible, obviously with the holidays coming up. And for those who don't know, today is actually my birthday. So it's kind of been a busy day, but I'm really loving this strip spruce floor, like the little patterns it creates. I love that. And yeah, you can kind of hear the shearing going on again. But I've already built this in creative and what I'm going to be doing is just building this up. Like so. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of diorite because that's all I have left. <laughs> oh, did you ever think those words were going to be said? Run out of diorite? No, me neither. But anyway, I would normally do this kind of thing as a third person time lapse, but due to the server update into 1.15, I don't have a working replay mod at the moment. So I'm going to skip ahead and I'll give you a bit of a progress update. Okay, so phase one of the build is in. So you can see we've got a couple of different sections here. So we've got the main part of the build back there, and <laughs> probably forgotten that beam, but I'll, we'll fix that later. We've got the entrance square, and then we've got this part here. Now, you can probably guess, if we go inside here, this is going to be a stairway. So I'm having it come out from the building a little bit, just to give it a bit more shape. But what I need to do next, you can see we've used up most of the diorite we had, is we want to get a roof on this place. So we're going to be going with the standard kind of gable style roof that we've had in a lot of the other builds so far. Because what I'm trying to do is keep a common theme across a lot of these buildings so we're using the dark oak for the roofs we're using white concrete or polished diorite or diorite for the walls and we're accessing that with some dark oak logs for beams as well obviously tying it all in together yeah i need to get up here and get this roof done because 
awkward part about this building is how it joins onto the other gable roof and also connects with the stairway as well. Okay, so the front end of the gable roof is now on. Looks like it's missing a block there actually. Uh, but you can see I've built up the tower a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm now out of diorite. <laughs> Completely out of the stuff. I've got about five pieces of polished diorite left, which is not good. Especially since we still need a fair bit more for this. Actually, probably not too much. Uh, those walls are only going to go up to about there, so that's fine. Uh, tower needs to go up a little bit higher, so actually I don't think I need too much more. But I'm going to head down into the mine, see what I'm fine. So there should be loads left as I haven't exactly been you know, looking for diorite when I've been down there. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so that didn't take too long. I managed to get the rest of the diorite that I needed. So the walls themselves are now pretty much done. May need a little bit more diorite. Oh look, white cat. White cat. Ah, oh, damn you coming. Oh well. Um, that's probably going to despawn. <laughs> Those cats always take me forever to get for some reason. But I guess next up is we need the rest of the roof on. So let's grab all the dark oak stairs. Let's head up here. See, I still don't have scaffolding. <laughs> need to get that at some point. Need to work on that. All right, okay. So these ladders are going to have to come down now. And I'm just having a look at the drawing I've got in creative. I said drawing the uh, screenshot. That's what they're called. <laughs> oh, word, you fail me sometimes. All right, okay. So I think what we actually want to do is come down a little bit here. Actually, one further, it looks like. We'll have a stair there. Stairs like that, and like that. That's our third block, which is right. And we're just going to do exactly the same as what we do with the front end, and just build up this gable-style roof. Not like that. <laughs> that is not how you do things. So, I'll be back with you guys very soon. And there we have it, the roof is fully on now and you can see I've extended the tower upwards as well as the beams. Uh, so what we're going to do is turn that into a bell tower because obviously every good village needs a bell. And if we head inside, you can see I've also got the staircase in going all the way up. Now, I am planning on having a second floor, I think it's about this level so I need to go double check that in creative. Um, also we need some windows in this place, <laughs> we need a fair bit of light in here. And so I've just gone and checked what level the second floor should be going at and it looks like I've made a mistake. This staircase here needs to be one block up. Uh, so to do that what we're going to need to do is basically move this all one block out this way. Which means I'm going to have to tear out this entire staircase and do it again. Well that's it, that's most of the building now. Uh, so you can see we've got the windows in, we've got some dark oak slabs as window sills, much like we've got on the farmhouse and the mill. And the only bit really left to do, other than the interior, is to get the roof of the bell tower on. Now, I have played about with this in creative as well, and I came up with a couple ideas. So this is the basis of the roof I want to build for the bell tower. As you can see, it's essentially a gable roof in both directions both north, south and east, west. The tricky part is going to be getting the dark oak stairs and slabs in and getting it all to join up. So let's see. Well, we've got a bunch of slabs on me, so I'm going to head up there and we'll give this a try. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just using slabs to create a nice gentle incline at first. So going up one slab, up another slab, and then we're going to go up two. Oops, I was put them in the right place, didn't it? So this is just going to gradually increase the gradient of the roof. And I like to do one layer at a time, just to make sure I'm keeping it all consistent. So from there, I'm then going to go free on these bits. There we go. And then again, we're going to come up to here. Yeah, not a torch. <laughs> That's not what we want. Oh, 
but this looks alright from a distance. It looks pretty good in my uh, creative world, so here's hoping. Okay. Then we're going to come up a slab there. Again with the torches. I absolutely hate that. <laughs> I've got to keep torches out of me offhand. I do like it for caving and such, but for building, not so much. Then we're going to have two on these corners. We're almost there now. Just the last couple of layers to go. And then two up on all these. And two up again. Oh, I'm <laughs> trying to use my torch. Took it out of my offhand. That's a slab, that's why. I think. Are any of these not slabs? You. Okay, so it's just these corner blocks that we need to be worried about. I'm going to light them up for now, and I'll probably come around with some brown carpet later on. The rest are all fine. Yes, they are. Not going to get any mob spawns. Oh, nope, hang on. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. There we go. That should fix that. Let's get down and have a look at it. Obviously we need to remove that uh, pillar that I made there. But other than that, I think it's looking alright. I think it's looking quite cool from the side angle there. Uh, next up, we actually need to get the bell in. Now we have the bell in. It's not perfect, but <laughs> you can at least ring it. And it uh, looks like a couple of the villagers have been spooked by that. They're going to run off and try and get back to the bed. I mean, that's not what your bed is, dude. The door is there. Yep, there they go. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have so much fun with that. So much fun. Well, there we have the finished exterior of the town hall. Obviously, the insides are completely bare at the moment, so they need a bit of work doing. Um, but I want to know, guys, down in the comments below, where do you think the inspiration for this build came from? Because this wasn't just off the top of my head. This was actually taken from another game that I've played for quite a few years. Now, in the original, this wasn't a bell tower, it's actually a clock tower. So, let me know your thoughts. Where do you think this inspiration came from? Now, I know I said I wanted to get a bit of work done on actually connecting these builds up. <laughs> you can see I did kind of start the path coming out of the town hall, but didn't get very far in it. Um, unfortunately, with it being Christmas time, it's a very busy time of year, especially with it being my birthday today, Christmas tomorrow. And then all the family meetings and stuff going on. I'm sure you guys know what it's like. But yeah, I've run out of recording time. <laughs> so fortunately, we're going to have to get started on that next time. Uh, looks like the villagers are all rushing off to bed. <laughs> Six o'clock. Yep, that sounds about right. What, what are they doing? I'm really confused right now. They, is that a conga line? Are they doing a conga line? <laughs> well, that is very silly of them. But as I said, guys, that is unfortunately going to be it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smack that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Seriously, though, that is a conga line. If ever I've seen one.